Good afternoon guys, welcome to Tommy Brock Vlogs video 2 and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about my day so far and sending a spiritual message to everybody who is suffering from the coronavirus. Alright guys, let's get into it. First of all, my name is John. If you guys haven't met me already, you guys can go watch my first YouTube video, Tommy Brock Vlogs video 1. A big thank you to our healthcare responsors and our first responders and as well as a spiritual message to our country and as well as uh, a little bit about me. So you guys can go check out that video. P please don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to. And we hope you enjoy video number two. All right, let's get into it. First of all, I just want to say to the whole country of the United States of America, during this time, it has been hectic. It has been crazy. We have been out of a lot of things at our grocery stores. And we've also had lost a lot of people with over around the world, not just in America. And it's very sad. And I know for the people who are still here, we are going to pull through and make this America because you know what? We're a country. We're going to pull through and get through this together. It may be hard for the first few months because this is a new virus we've never seen before. And the numbers are going really high. And um, this is something we really weren't better prepared for. But I know everything's going to work out in the future. And we're going to do it together as a country. America, we stand America the Beautiful. And about my day so far, um, I've went to Walmart and I went and got some wine for myself. I got out of bed, I ate breakfast, I watched the prices right. Um, then I went outside and cleaned up some stuff in the garage and did some laundry. And then I went inside, had some lunch and spent some time with my grandma. And um, that's about it for my day so far. Later today I have CNA class at six o'clock which is going to be very interesting. So far, I've learned how to give a person a partial bed bath and how to um, take care of their uh, oral hygiene and hand hygiene for myself. And I've also learned how to make a hospital corner on my bed, which I was very proficient at even before this program. And here's a little story I thought I'd share with you guys. This is also a part of the video. When I was about 18 years old, I started going to ride along at the fire department down here in my local area. And I've ridden at station 30, 33, 32, and 23. And it was a very interesting experience, and I was very fascinated by it. Um, I met a firefighter at Publix one morning. I was working probably, I'd say, around 7.30. He came in right before his shift. Um, I forget what his name was, but he was a fire medic for station 23. And I told him, I want to see what it's like to be a firefighter. And he said, why don't you come down and onto the station and find out for yourself? And I said, that sounds cool. What do I have to do? So he told me I had to fill out a form and get it notarized at my bank or at a local notary. And um, yeah, so I got to ride at Station 30 for my first shift. And it was kind of interesting. Uh, captain Pete was there. Uh, he was the captain on shift at the time. And I got to see a lot of the different things that the firefighters did in our county. And it was really cool. While there wasn't that much interesting as far as calls go, I still got to see what it was like to ride on a fire truck see all the different attachments, hose attachments and buttons and all that there is to see on a fire truck and I also got to see what it was like on an ambulance and that's when I thought maybe I'd like to become an EMT and firefighter and um, later that same year in 2019 after 2018 had ended um, I signed up for Indian River State College EMS program for the EMT school and the program was about four months. I learned a lot of things and met a lot of great people, like how to splint someone's arm or how to manage an airway, how to give a person a CPR if they need it. And it was a very interesting program. I got to ride along at some of the fire stations again, do some shifts in the ER department at the hospital. It was one of the most fun experiences that I've ever had. And while I was doing such a great job in the program during the whole time, uh, when it came down to the end of the program, when we all took our final exams, I did not pass and I was really strongly upset about it because I really wanted to make it and get there. But it taught me something that when you find out that something you want to do isn't such a good thing for you, you find something else and you uh, work hard at it. So even though I didn't pass the EMT program, I still decided that I'm going to continue myself trying to find a healthcare division type of career. So then I decided to become a CNA through Indian River State College. So far that's going very well. As I have class tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to be learning about some of the different things uh, about moving patients and taking care of them and how to put them in certain positions for treatment. 
and so far the program is really good. Um, I have passed my first exam. I think I got an 89 on the exam for chapter uh, 1 through uh, chapter 12, and it's so far coming out really good. So I think I'm going to make it in this program, and I'm going to work hard, and we're going to get there. And, well, about that, that's about it. Um, not to add that for those of you who didn't see in my uh, last video that I tried to record, I was also going to be doing a segment about Autism Awareness Month, because that is April, it's Autism Awareness Month, here to recognize kids who have trouble doing things that others do not. Just because you're a little different doesn't mean you're any less than anyone else. I mean, we all have struggles and we all have things that we can do, and then there's things that we can't do that others can. But we have to be the best version of ourselves, and we have to learn that even if someone else can do something you can't, doesn't mean you can't try and be the best. I mean, there's so many things that I'd like to do that my friend can do that I can't do. Um, and like I uh, just remembered, my friend, he had struggled with uh, a light case of Asperger's and ADHD, and he served as an M88 transport operator in the United States Army. He served for our country. And I'd like to take a moment also and thank our heroes who are uh, in the military, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Army, and all of the above for their services too, because even during this coronavirus, they're not excluded. Everybody's doing their part to help keep everybody safe. And as long as everyone stays indoors and stays clean, we're gonna get through this in a lot faster time. And while this virus is new and it's just been discovered and there hasn't been a cure made for it yet, all that we're doing to help is gonna make a great impact on this country. And I know we're all gonna get through it together. And lastly, I'd like to add uh, that if you haven't already followed my photography account as uh, shown in the first video, that's Tommy Brock Photography. You guys can go check out my content there. I post photos every couple of days or anytime I get a chance to get out. I usually go to the park. That's where I take all my shots, at least until this quarantine is lifted. And if you haven't had a chance to go watch my first YouTube video, go ahead and watch Tommy Brock Vlogs. Uh, again, that is uh, video one. A thank you to our healthcare professionals and first responders and a message about the coronavirus as well as a little bit about myself. And we hope you enjoyed video number two of Tommy Brock Vlogs, which in this video I told you guys about my day and how it's going so far. A little bit about me and my CNA program adventures and my story behind becoming an EMT, which did not sail the right direction. And we hope that you come by my channel, like and subscribe. It would be very appreciated. We hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday afternoon, and we will see you next week for video three.